Hi YouTube! Today I'm going to be doing a unboxing video of a generator transport cart for a Honda EU 2000 suitcase generator. Now I didn't actually know that something like this existed until I was browsing the Honda catalog, an old Honda product catalog a while back, and I noticed that there was a transport cart made specifically for the EU 2000, which is that tiny little red generator that you've seen in some of my videos, and I thought that would be pretty handy because even though that generator itself doesn't weigh too much at around, I think, 50 pounds or so, that by the time you load it up with gas and oil, that it's more like 60 pounds. And it really sucks trying to lug that beast um, around the campsite. So anyways, when I called the local dealership here in my neck of the woods, they said that it's no longer available, but that there was a dealer in Interior BC in Canada that had two left on display. And so when I called them, lo and behold, with my luck, they actually had two of them and sold me both. Um, I just placed the order yesterday in BC and it showed up here in Alberta the next morning so I'm super impressed how little it cost to ship and the fact that it showed up right away. Um, but anyways, this is the box right here. It says EU 2000 I two wheel cart and it's really simple, it's just a cart for God's sakes, but the point is is that it's discontinued and you can't get them anymore. And I was told it was due to low sales numbers. Um, and I guess I'm not surprised because it costs 150 bucks Canadian for something like this. So it's not cheap. So this is what it looks like. It comes with the installation instructions. And oh, it's super light. It's made out of this blow molded plastic. So let's just take a look here, overview. So that's the side view. This is the, what I think is the front view, the two wheels. And I guess it's got some handles here. Yeah, you can lift that up. And while well, it's super compact for easy storage and it's got this knob here that I'm assuming you flip this up like this and then you probably snap this into place by stepping on it, snapping it into place, and then turning this to secure it. Okay. So there you go. Just kind of tightens down and latches into place so that this doesn't work its way loose. So this is what she looks like from the side view, assembled. Really there's not much to it, right? <laughs> Looks like, uh, yeah, there's the handle, so you can pick it up like this to cart your generator around. I'm assuming that the exhaust goes on the back side, the control panel probably goes on the front, and you can see there's a cutout in the base for the four feet, as well as an opening in the bottom for any oil or fuel that may leak or have spilled um, to pass through the cart. There's a retaining strap here that goes through the handlebar on the generator and in the instructions it says you can't actually have this tied down while it's operating possibly because of the vibrations that cut through the handles plastic or something because it doesn't make contact with the exhaust then on the bottom side you've got yeah just a little bit of feet some cheap wheels which there's a little bit of molding flash here no big deal but it basically it gets the job done but yeah that's all there is to it as for the instructions current current this current yes it makes complete sense yep strap it down i don't know why you can't actually run it with the strap on i guess the vibration might cut through the generator's plastic possibly but yeah, let's throw the generator on and see how she works. Okay guys, so here's my EU2000, 2008 model, USA edition, rock on. You guys were the first to have the parallel kit before Canada ever did. And so this thing's full of gas and oil and I actually struggle with it, trying to get this damn thing out of the storage area in the garage. It's easily 60 pounds. Unlock the handle, and I'm assuming we pick it up carefully, pop that on. Oh, look at that! Perfect fit, holy smokes! That's kind of a nice setup. It's almost like 
the Honda EU 3000 Handy Series now. So to secure this bad boy, you're just gonna take the strap and feed it through the handle like so. Now it says to only use the straps during transport mode. And I really think that you don't have to because it's not like it's touching the hot exhaust. I'm gonna strap this on and then tighten it. Like that. So hot exhaust passes through the back. The straps don't make contact. See what it looks like. It's nothing special really. It's just well suited for this thing. And yeah. And you pick it up like this and cart your generator around like so. Really cool. Maybe not for 150 bucks, but nonetheless, I bought one because you can't find them anymore, ever. And Honda's confirmed that they're not going to be making this anymore. Now, the other thing I want to point out about this cart that I didn't even notice until I put it onto an inclined slope was those rubber feet on the bottom that are just on the backside here. They're actually quite grippy. So you can actually have this generator park on a slope and it's not going to just roll away on you because there's no caster locks of any sort. So another super handy feature, you really should operate your generator on a as level of surface as possible, but if you're a little bit off kilter, that this thing is going to stay put. Really good thinking Honda. So yeah, there's another view in the back. I like the fact that in a tight space here, you can pick it up and maneuver it around still. Or if you're moving at greater distances, you just pick up this handle and then just go. Okay, you can either push it, but I think it's actually easier if you pull it. Pushing it's kind of awkward because you could tip this right over if you're not careful. So park this bad boy here. So as you can see from my video short, that unboxing and setting up the accessory generator transport cart for the Honda EU 2000 series of generators is neither difficult nor very time consuming and I think that those that choose to get this cart know that it's a wonderful accessory for their generators because it spares you the pain and agony of having to lug a near 60 pound generator around your home, worksite or campground or wherever else you may be using this generator. I love the fact that the cart is actually made from blow molded ABS plastic because it makes it super lightweight, it makes it fairly durable and most importantly it will never rust and it's super easy to clean so um, I think that you know it's a real shame that Honda priced it higher than it should have been in Canada and I think it's even a greater shame that they opted to discontinue it because sales numbers were relatively low if it were still available I strongly encourage it you guys pick one up for your generator and if you can't well there's always eBay well that's all I've got if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.